Let's keep the donations coming and good luck to Punchy. We have a $10 donation from Tima. Ah, the horror block where I stay up way past my bedtime. Good thing I took the entire week off from work. It's first time in 10 years I've been watching that I've been able to do so. So excited for the Silent Hill run coming up. The Silent Hill series will always be my favorite, and I get so excited when I see any Silent Hill game on the lineup. Good luck to the runner! And with that, I'm hearing that we're all ready for Silent Hill 3, where it all began. Take it away, Punchy. Okay, hello everyone, welcome. I'm Punchy. This will be Silent Hill 3 Extra New Game. I am joined by my lovely couch, Ignisus. Hello. And Maxi. Great job on the fear run earlier, by the way, Maxi. Really good. I liked it. Okay, so who? Oh. <laughs> this will be Extra New Game, so this run begins on extra options. We'll start by turning Beginner Mode on. And you're thinking, ugh, Beginner Mode? But wait, there's a twist. So when we start Extra New Game, we will choose a normal action level in addition to Beginner. And you may be thinking, how does that make any sense? How can you choose Beginner and Normal? Well, you can. I don't know why, but you can. And that weird combination is what makes this run tick. Uh, so we'll start on the count of three. Three, two, one, video games. Rightio. Okay, so Beginner Normal Mode combination allows us to have Beginner Mode like properties on attacks, but normal mode game mechanics. I'm gonna pick up a submachine gun here, it's just in a box in Extra New Game, it's cool. Extra New Game is sort of the local equivalent of a New Game Plus category. Uh, this game had a whole bunch of skips found in it over the course of the past few months. Uh, and New Game Plus, Extra New Game, can use absolutely all of them. Absolutely all of them. Uh, Soso and Jokey, uh, and plenty of others. Some of the names are eluding me at the moment, I apologize put a lot of effort into figuring out a whole bunch of brand new skips and stuff, and I get to show pretty much all of them in this run, so that'll be a lot of fun. So I'm doing a movement trick here, a little movement trick that gets used a lot called uh, a snap turn. If you use the strafe key and also turn in the direction that you strafe in, Heather will immediately snap 90 degrees to face that direction, so you can do fast movement that way. No one else calls it a snap turn besides me. Just, just me. Flamethrower. Also, it's bread. Anyway. Mmm, bread. It's bread. I could go for bread right now. Just normal bread. Just, a, just a whole stick of bread. That's it. That's all not, I eat. Not haunted bread. Haunted bread. All right. So we're also going to pick up another new game plus weapon here, the beam saber, uh, for legally distinct purposes. That is, that is just a lightsaber though. And we're going to get the key taken with the tongs. It's literally just called the key taken with the tongs. See, I'm not like making that up. Very descriptive writing going on here. So it will not take long before glitches start happening. At the opening of this, we start to collect the, the extra new game weapons, which is the flamethrower and the lightsaber. And as a bonus thing, uh, the lightsaber and the the, the flamethrower, there we go, uh, they get stronger if you've completed a 10-star run prior to doing this run. Also, this is a puzzle, 2851. You don't have to actually put the books back on the shelf to know what the answer to the puzzle is. You just gotta look at the puzzle real quick. And here comes Claudia to tell us that we're gonna birth the god, but our goal in this run is to attack and dethrone god. And we shall do exactly that. We'll do it with the power of anime, in fact. It'll be a good time. So we ride the elevator down and get a radio. The radio is required, you have to pick it up, and unfortunately it takes too much time to turn it off. But well, they can be useful because it tells you where enemies are. Pick it up. I'm mashing uh, two accept keys at once in order to advance dialogue quicker. That's a nice little thing you can do. The first thing we need to pick up once we're down here is a flashlight because Silent Hill 3 does not allow you to interact with many key items and key events without a flashlight. Uh, we, we actually figured out a way to skip past picking up the flashlight recently, but you can't complete the game if you don't have the flashlight, because the game's like, where's your flashlight, mate? Later on. And it's like, I ain't got no flashlight. And it's like, well, whose fault is that? And then the game is softlock. <laughs> it was unfortunate, because it looked like a really cool skip as well, but no, you need the flashlight. 
Unfortunate. We're still labbing that one. Many tricks in this game are like super fresh and currently being labbed. Hair is in my face, so I'm brushing it out of the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Love it. I must look really vain on stream and do it. Like, hmm. Get my good stuff. No, it's just it's long. I have, I have quarantine hair. It's a whole thing. Hey, man. It gets there. All right, so we're going to pull this ladder down with a hanger, and thus begins the first skip of the run. This skip is New Game Plus exclusive, and it has actually been around for a very, very long time. It was discovered by Shunpuk like three or four years ago. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to run into this loading zone. I'm going to count. Is that good? I think so. We're going to equip the Princess Heart costume. A glorious transformation sequence. Anyway, it fuels me deeply. Yes. I hit it first try as well. Okay, so that cutscene overlapped the loading zone? I wasn't expecting to hit that first try. What? Stop. Slow down. Okay, uh, <laughs> that, that cutscene overlaps the loading zone, which means I'm now out of bounds. I'm gonna tag this little, like, wall here, because if you tag that wall, you start to run faster while you're out of bounds, and now I have to blind navigate through the void to the end of the stage. I should have saved before I did that, because if I do this wrong, I crash the game. It'll be fine, probably, I hope. Oh god, I really should have saved before I did that. <laughs> It'll be fine. And, uh, <laughs> this is like legitimately a lot harder than Punchy just made it look. Oh no, I found it, it's okay. The camera is your friend during this sequence. It has latched on to the end. There we go. So that's the mall. We skipped past yes. the first boss completely. That's the whole mall done, like right there. Over. You can't really see the dealie boppers too well when I stand up like this. It's like the camera framing is, see? They bobble. We call these dealie boppers in the UK. I've been informed that's not how Americans call these. I don't think Americans have a name for this. Anyway. I, I just call them antennas. I'm, yeah, I, I'm wearing antennas right now. They're not even the right color. <laughs> I just realized I they're they had yellow. a name. Wait, you said dealie bobbers? Yeah, they're called dealie bobbers in the UK, dude. Huh. Oh, they're falling off my face. They're falling off my face. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. Okay, so now we're in the subway. We have another skip coming up here. This one is also, this isn't New Game Plus exclusive, but it's only viable on New Game Plus, because in normal categories, this is where you get the shotgun, which is by far the best gun in the game for like normal mode fights. There really isn't a better one. The shotgun will serve you very nicely for all of the standard gameplay. But we have lightsabers and flamethrowers and such, so we don't need them. So we're gonna do a skip. And this one, I'm, I actually am going to save the game like, properly this time, because again, if I do this wrong, I crash the game. Save in slot to one. There we go. I do this wrong, I crash the game. That'll be a theme, by the way. If any of these skips, I do them wrong, I crash the game. It's just a thing. So as you drop off the ledge here, you need to quick save, do a save complete in the corner. It's not quite as iconic as game saved. And then when you reload that save, you need to hold aim. I hit it first try. Okay, so now the camera is just stuck in nowhere. I have to navigate this completely blind, which is a total pain. Oh, where am I? Hello, I'm here. Ah, I found it. Uh, if you take the wrong line through this, you crash the game. It doesn't look like I've managed to crash the game. Concourse, spelled wrong. And we just pop through that wall, no problem. And now we are it's at the last part it. of the subway. Yeah, the, the wall's only solid on one side, go figure. You can just walk through it that way. Hmm. Okay, so because we've skipped from like the beginning of the subway to the end, we can touch this door, but the dogs don't spawn in because the whole like event trigger isn't here. We've now summoned an invisible train. The train is here. I rest assured, the train is most certainly here. But it's invisible right now. Don't worry about it. We'll go through concourse here. A train. We're gonna ride that train. Heather wants to they go. They were just home. waiting. Yeah, it's just, it took a while to turn up, is all. You know, the trains never run on time. So far, this is all just Heather's quest to get home. Also, for those of you who are wondering, yes, we're staying in this outfit for the entire run. Many, many people, it's a good outfit. many people ask me, like, is this, is this like the, are you going to use the magical girl Heather costume for the run? I was like, not only am I going to use the magical girl Heather for the run, you have to. It's required. It's part of a skip. It's the perfect category. And uh, this, this big guy's probably going to, oh, brutal, knockdown. Oh, that's no problem. That's kind of random. That's normal mode AI and enemy layouts working against me there because even though I'm playing on beginner mode, I'm also playing on normal mode, which means enemies have normal mode placements and normal mode aggression, but they do beginner amounts of damage. It's 
a, it's a funny fusion. The exact reason for normal mode in particular will become obvious later. And that is the sub- I just like instinctively tried to split. And that is the subway. We skipped past pretty much all of the subway. You can't do that on the other categories. It's got a, it's a, it's a new game plus viable only thing. Also a new game plus, uh, this hallway turns red when you walk through it. This drains your health very slightly. This only happens on new game plus and doesn't matter in the slightest. I'm just pointing out that it happens. And it looks cool. It does look cool. It does? It's just, it's just like the only environment thing that changes on new game plus. It's like the only thing. I wonder why. Beats me. On hard mode, that drains your health, like, almost completely. It sucks. Yeah, how if you, you play on hard or extreme, it's... it's yeah, it drains your health. How, how do you avoid you it? You don't. You have to walk... Oh. You don't. You have to walk through it. <laughs> you just have the life sucked out you of you. You haven't got a choice in the matter. Turning off my flashlight. Oh. Yeah, the flashlight actually does affect enemy aggro, albeit in somewhat unpredictable ways. But sometimes I gotta... Turn the flight. I have my flashlight bound to the L key. Like, th this this game speedrun uses a completely... Just a silly amount of keyboard keys. Oh, the big guy's over here. Nah, he's fine. He's chill. He's chilling. So wait, you have one hand on WASD and the other one on IJKL? I have the other one on a pair of on the arrow keys. I use the down arrow as my accept key. Oh. That uh, is interesting. Yeah, I use left and right arrow to strafe, down to accept, and up to block. Because this game has a block. People don't know this game has a block. It's important for quick shotting. Huh. I know this game. I also have my uh, my quick save bound to numpad one, so I can hit it with my pinky finger while I'm working the arrow keys. And also use the movement keys at the same time. So this way, my movement keys are on one hand, but my accept and like quick save keys are on another. This made this all made sense to me at some point. But now when I try to explain it to people, I sound like I'm talking gibberish. Here's a fun little optimization. Every time you use the menu, if you use the mouse cursor to click accept on things, it goes faster than if you use the keyboard, because for some reason the game can pull the mouse faster than it can pull the keyboard. No, I don't know why. But uh, that adds up a lot over the course of the run, so every time you open that menu, be using the mouse, not the keyboard. Try not- don't read Shakespeare into the oil tank. That will not help anyone. <laughs> Just tried to read Shakespeare at the tank. Okay, so now we're getting to sewer skip, and this was... The subway skip and this sewer skip coming up were both discovered by, by Soso and Jokey working in concert to refine the concept. Uh, but the original sewer skip was like a zip discovered by Shunput years ago. It wasn't fast, it was just a cool party trick they liked doing. Uh, but now I get to, I get to honor that, that memory properly because it has now evolved into a fully-fledged useful skip. So again, when I walk off this ledge, if I save complete at the right time, load a save, hold aim. Didn't quite get the timing there. The timing on this is tight. I, it's not frame perfect. I know everyone likes it when you say things are frame perfect, but I'm pretty sure it's like two or three. Something like that. It's not a super in, uh... Oh, you I, got it. Now nah, I'm in the wall. This saves a minute and a half. It looks like not much. I mean, it, I'm walking through the void. Maybe that does look like something. But I just walk over here, and the end of the sewers is just right next to this grate. Like, they're, in, they're part of the same map. But if I can get through that wall... And I can skip over a minute of like fetch questing and doing sewer puzzles and blah blah blah. That saves a massive amount of time. It's the most impactful skip in the whole run to be discovered so far. Cut like a minute and a half off the run's time right there. Very cool. And uh, it, it was eventually discovered as a result of someone refining a four-year-old concept. So that's that's a nice little story, isn't it? Like collaboration. That's what we do best in speedrunning. It is. And also, you mentioned that uh, it is, you know, like, without using the word frame perfect, it's pretty difficult. It's pretty it difficult. took me, like, an hour and a half to even get one. It's hard. Like, once you once you get it, it makes more sense, but it takes a long time because you either push it early or it doesn't let you push it afterward, and you just keep doing it. Yeah, every ledge has a different timing because every ledge has, like, different drop-off properties. It's a, it's a funky thing. Like, the conditions for those skips are actually quite tight, which is why it's remarkable there's, like, three of them in the run. Because you, you need a ledge that exists between the ledge and the origin point of the map because it tries to teleport you there when you load. And if you hold aim, it prevents you from falling off ledges. Like, that's the stumble animation that plays on normal mode when you start, when you get close to a ledge. 
uh, holding aim counts as that because it counts as walking, which will stop you from teleporting exactly to, like, the origin point of the map, which means you teleport to a more favorable position, which tends to... It's actually really complicated, and the conditions for it to work are really, really narrow, which is why it's super surprising that people found, like, three places it works. If that explanation made no sense, don't worry about it. It doesn't make sense to me either. Sorry, go ahead. Dumb question. Could, could you uh, do the trick off that mattress jump? Uh, yes, it crashes the game. Oh. I did try yeah, to do If that I recall once. correctly, uh, there was a lot of te testing back when Jokey and Soso found some of this stuff, and like, there were so many ledges that just crashed the game. So many. I wonder why. People, people pretty, because it doesn't, some parts of the Out of Bounds just crash the game if you walk through it. Mm. Some parts of the game, the game just goes in. We actually discovered recently a way to avoid some crashes Out of Bounds, which is the Previously, we thought some places in the void were unsafe to go into, but it turns out if you turn your flashlight off, they're totally fine. The game's like trying to load like lighting data for because you know you're shining a light on the void, and the game goes, "But there's no terrain here, rude!" and crashes. <laughs> but if you, if your lights off, the game's just like, <laughs> "There are no problems here." Hmm. You can also uh, funny void quirk. You can't quick turn when you're in the void, or you crash the game. Because when you try to quick turn, the game tries to load the audio data for what your quick turn sounds like, but you're not standing on anything, so the game goes, ah, and dies. Just just the audio file. It doesn't crash for any other reason. If it can't find a valid quick turn audio file, the game just exits. I I'm so amused by the noises that the game would make if it was sentient. <laughs> That's how I envision it. It gets, it gets upset. It doesn't know what to do with you. Why are you doing these things to me? All right, now it's we're sad. in Hilltop. Or we're in Otherworld Hilltop. Heather kicks a bathtub, uh, and everything is now rusty, and all doors are locked. <laughs> the bathtub fights back. <laughs> so this is why we picked combination beginner normal mode, because this is the point where being able to stumble off a ledge becomes important. So previously, all skips were done, by jumping off a ledge, but they can also be performed by stumbling off a ledge like that. That is exclusive to normal mode. Easy mode doesn't let you do this because if you keep pressing into the stumble, you fall off a ledge and die. But if you if you tease it very slightly and quick save while you're stumbling, I'm struggling with the timing here a little bit. Uh, you can produce the similar out of bound effect, although it doesn't work quite exactly the same. So technically, there's like three kinds of out of bounds in this game. Hello, I'm over here now. Oh yeah. Also, again, if I do this wrong, I crash the game. All, all of these, if I do them wrong, I crash the game. But Whereas, did you save? I No, I didn't actually. I kind of just did it on <sighs> autopilot. This should be fine. This one's easy. Famous last words. We need to find the door, and then we go through this door, and that takes us to the final room of the top. Well, not the final room. We get the silver coin here. There's a, You can skip directly into this room, uh, but if you skip directly into the room and then try to use the coin on the vending machine, the game crashes. You need to leave and go back in. And then we realize, why don't we just skip to the room outside the room and prevent the game from crashing at all? Everyone was like, why didn't I think of that? Hmm. Wasn't me who thought to do that, by the way. I was like, why didn't I think of that? That was me. But now we have the key that takes us to the final hallway. And we have slurpers to deal with in this hallway. Slurpers are the worst enemy devised by mankind. They if they touch you, they knock you down. If they do anything vaguely in your... If they, like, smell you, they knock you down. They have, like, a frame zero grab. It has no startup. You just need to be near And the hitbox is, is pretty pretty awful. It's whack. They're, they're mad run killers. And it gets worse in normal mode because they're more aggressive in normal. And there's more of them. But so far, this run's been going pretty good. I need to drink water real quick. Throat is parched. Stay hydrated. Excuse me. <sighs> Okay, we'll be coming up on the first actual boss of the run that we fought, because we skipped all the others. We're coming up on Missionary, and they're the reason I picked up the submachine gun, but I'm also going to do a quick shot here. I can end this fight really quickly if I get them before they get me. A quick shot is performed by holding aim and then pressing the block button. There is a block button in this game. A lot of people don't know this. If an enemy hits you while you're blocking, uh, it reduces damage, like a block. But uh, we don't use it for blocking. We use it to cancel the startup of aiming a gun because you can cancel the startup of aiming a gun by blocking and then immediately canceling it into firing. Like that, she goes straight from uh, gun pointed to gun shooting. Save a couple of seconds by doing that. Makes certain strikes tick really nicely. 
Because that boss dies in a matter of seconds. I don't think there's a... Uh, come them to death. I don't think it's expecting the magical girl to just unload like 50 bullets in a second. <laughs> magical girl with the... Oh man, she's got a gun! <laughs> Very different episode oh, no. of Sailor uh, Moon. My Dealey Boppers fell off. Okay, they're gone now. The Dealey Boppers are dead. Oh. Okay, so we're not... They fell off my head. The headband doesn't really fit me. The magic is gone. Okay, so now we're in outside Silent Hill. When I reach about this pole, I'm gonna quick save and quick load. This game has a minor variant of game saved from Silent Hill 2. If you remember from the Silent Hill 2 run a while ago, every time you saved the game, you would get your stamina back. This game almost has that, but you have to load the save. But you still get your stamina back. That's nice. Save complete just doesn't hit the same way as game saved though, man. I know, it doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Yeah, we're just gonna run to the hospital, so... We have time for some donations, I think. Sure thing. Uh, we got a $500 donation here from Marcy Bones. With a very simple message. Uh, <laughs> if, it, if I could just get this to fit. There we go. Here we are. Yes. Punchy time. Punchy the daily boppers are very popular in these donations, by the way. I've got one from your boy Jay, $15, saying, Hey, Punchy. Always look forward to your GDQ runs. Have fun and go fast. P.S. We call them dealy boppers in Canada, too. <gasps> See, I knew Canada was up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are now in the hospital. The hospital is, uh, sadly, the one major hub area of the game that lacks any skips currently on New Game Plus. Like I said, this is all, this is all quite fresh. It could change in an instant. It could change tomorrow. Uh, we need this nail polish remover and we are also this code is fixed this code does not change regardless of any randomness it's pa it's based purely on the puzzle difficulty so that's very nice and convenient and then we're going to use the most galaxy brain strat this strat is so fresh it was discovered like a day ago we're going to zoom the, the thing in we're going to pause the game i'm going to look at the clock intently the clock actually contains the right answer to the puzzle what is this clock though i can't read analog uh, clock. it looks like 313 yeah huh 313, 314, maybe? Something like that. Source, trust me. Uh, yeah, 313, you guys were right. Yep. I'm glad that you can read an analog clock. Thanks, I can't. <laughs> I kinda can. I kinda can't. I'm worse at it I than I think. <laughs> I need Maxi here for all my Silent Hill 3 runs. That saves time versus just going up and examining the... Like, if you examine the clock, there's like a graphic that shows you the time. But some galaxy brain genius in the Silent Hill Discord discovered a couple days ago that the model itself actually shows the correct time, so if you zoom the camera in, you can just look at the clock. I was I was I was blown away by that strat when I found out. I was like, that's mesmerizing. That's so intelligent. <laughs> it's a, it's an example of this game's really impressive detail, because like why would the clock show the correct time? They made a graphic that like shows when you examine the clock to show you what the correct time is, but they still went through the trouble of making the model show the correct time. I don't know, I'm really impressed by that. That saves like two seconds, it's nothing. But I'm still really impressed by it. <laughs> I'm still really impressed hey, by two, it. Two seconds makes all the difference, man. It's a good game, dude. 8293, this is random. That code I actually have to memorize. That's why I came down here for it. I can't just like, technically you could guess the code and save a lot of time. In practice, uh, the odds of that are like one in eight gorillion or something, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a large number. But do you remember the number? No, I forgot instantly. Do one of you? I think I think it was 8293. Thank you. Yes, yes it was. Thank you. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wasn't sure. <laughs> I forgot immediately as soon as I walked away from it. Okay, answer the phone. I think no teenager would ever actually do in this situation. Now we need that opens a hidden door down below. And that will take us to the other world hospital. Where Slurpers roam free and the run usually dies. As the Slurpers will steal lots of time from you and make you very sad. Oh, my no, the hard <laughs> knockdown. Rude, man. That's rare too. So aggressive. At least it wasn't the one with the gun. I guess so. Yeah, I like how the slurpers didn't do anything, but the nurses oh. are being mean. Yeah, the nurses like less like to do so. 
but yeah, we're just gonna run through some spooky hallways real fast where gates close and open and such, so we have plenty of time for some more donations. All right. Got a lot of questions about crashing the game here. Two twenty-five dollar donations from one from Space Pope. I would leave a comment, but it would crash the game. It's more where that Got came another from. one. <laughs> Got another one from Mister the Fish. Actually, if I donate during Silent Hill Three, does it crash the game? Might. It could. At least it'd be crashing Imagine the game it did for right charity. now. Nah, this section's safe. Probably. You never know. We got time for a couple more. Sure. Um, Presley donates one hundred dollars. Happy to be awake to watch Silent Hill Three. Punchy speedruns and commentary are always fantastic. Thank you. Now. Dizzy bummed. Oh, go ahead. Dizzy bum donates twenty dollars. Attack and dethrone God with the power of anime. Shout yes. from all your buddies in the Comfy Speed Friends chat. P.S. Don't break your monitor this time. I didn't break it last time. I don't think the, uh... It's okay. Are they Deedle Bobble? D I D forgot the name already. D Deely Boppers. <laughs> Deely Bob. I don't think they could break the monitor at least. No, they're, they're on the floor now anyway. They fell off my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I okay, don't know so why, now but I kind of like what you called them better. The Deedly Bobbers. I didn't know what they were called. I couldn't remember. I've never seen them. They're just these little wiggly antenna things, man. They're, they're even wiggle in this game, but whatever. They're just antennas. Oh yeah, every single time I do a turn in the elevator here to try and access this button quicker, I'm doing what's called a quick turn cancel. It turns out you can cancel your quick turns in mid-turn if you aim while doing it, and this can produce really, really weird, sharp, like, angled quick turns. Rude. This is what slurpers do. But uh, if you master the quick turn cancel, and actually the timing window for this is really tight and quite annoying, uh, you can save a lot of time. It improves your movement by quite a lot. It's a little thing. Oh my goodness, the slurper blockade. Can we not do this? No, I guess we are doing oh, this. No. All right, what fun. They're going. Go away. This, this is, this is, that's not so good. I mean, it's fine. It, it loses time. It's not like dangerous to the run's health. It's just annoying. The it's sanity it. attack. Yeah. I also mentioned this game has a block mechanic. Uh, slurpers, everything they do is unblockable. They're, they're the only enemy in the game that works like that. Just the block means nothing to them. You can block, but you can't block your toes. <laughs> Heather can't block low. She's the worst fighting game character. Meanwhile, slurpers are apparently the best fighting game character. Yeah, they only hit low. In a game where lows are unblockable. And this, this hallway's the worst, but none of the slurpers are in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that was the cleanest <laughs> hallway of the entire hospital. <laughs> That's so whack. That hallway is usually the thing that kills my runs. Okay, so we're on a boss here. We're up against Leonard. I will give him toasty bread with the flamethrower. This will stunlock him to death in a matter of seconds because we have this, like, the super-powered 10-star version of the of the weapon, and that's all good. Normally that boss is random, whether or not he allows you to stunlock him to death or not. The flamethrower bypasses that property by hitting in every frame, which is very nice. So, uh, fun fact, you can actually stun lock Leonard into not dying, but he's dead. So, like, you can just make him freak out for, like, a day straight if you wanted to, if you just hold down the button. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't die unless he does his dying animation. You can knock him out of it. All right, so now I've got to walk all the way back to the motel where I came from. I'm going to do more of those, like, quick save and quick load things when Heather starts to run low on stamina. So once again, we have time for more donations. All right, we've got a $302 donation from Windslash. How could I not donate during one of the best runners doing one of the best Silent Hills? You're always a joy to listen to, Punchy. Also, thanks to Takara, who helped me learn about and enjoy these, the series. Love you, Mew. Donation, as always, goes to your choice, Punchy. I think I said it before, but uh, my choice is... My choice is Wand of Gamelon, if that's not been hit by now. Just for everyone's reference. man, folks. Wand of Gamelon. It's good, I promise. It'll be worth it. <laughs> We've got time for a couple more. All right. I have a $500 donation from Argo. Had to donate during the Punchy run. I've seen all of them over the years, and he never fails to entertain with his unique brand of motor mouth and self-deprecating humor. Donation goes to Runner's Choice, which again is Wand of Gamelon. 
Uh, we've got some people who are missing the presence of Minmo here, actually. Alas, we do not go by a Minmo billboard in this run. Poor Mizukun Minmo. donates $25, so I feed my cat Minmo, and she's healthy and strong. But now she shoots lasers out of her eyes? Really got to read up on those side effects. We still got time for more. I got to run all the way to the amusement park. This section of the game's a bit slow going. All right, I got a fifteen dollars donation from Lisa. Had to donate to Silent Hill. My favorite series ever. Best of luck to Punchy. And as always, it's bread. It's definitely bread. It is bread. Vicarious Vice also agrees with twenty-five dollars. It's bread. <laughs> it's a shame I couldn't fit the Minmo billboard in now that you mention it. Like, I could fit the bread in, but we don't walk past a Minmo billboard in this room. We skip, too, we skip the subway too quickly. Well, now you have to go back. I can't, I can't go back. <laughs> I'm in Silent Hill. The subway's in a different town. I'll take Claire the subway is there. very angry at you. How dare you walk straight past growing strong and healthy Minmo in this Silent Hill speed run. <laughs> Thank you very much for a $5 donation, Claire. Okay, we're at the amusement park now. Gameplay thus resume. Uh, first, we need a key. I'm gonna wait for this guy to go past the door real quick. I actually gotta be patient. So we're waiting for a key to drop from a shelf. Uh, for some reason, they decided that this should be completely random. Mm. But the camera has to also not be looking at it. It's a, it's a weirdly specific thing. The timer for when the key drops down from that shelf doesn't start ticking until the camera is pointed, like, exactly 90 degrees away from it and how long it takes to fall off that shelf is totally random. Uh, that was okay. I give that RNG okay out of 10. Sometimes it can drop basically instantly. You gotta be a certain proximity away and also the camera can't be looking at it because it, there's no animation for it falling off the shelf. It just immediately becomes like destroyed. So they, they put a check in to make sure the camera's not looking at it. It's really funny. That's game design tricks for you right there. Don't want to animate something? Just make sure the player can't see it. That sounds like I'm being mean. It's not. It's a tricky trick. Okay, so I actually have to pay attention to where I'm walking because, like I said, I'm on normal mode physics. So if I walk off the roller coaster, I die. <laughs> Easy mode doesn't let you do that. Easy mode does not let you fall to your death. It's a it's a mechanic exclusive to normal mode and up. Okay, so now we have Borley Skip, and guess what? If I do this wrong, I crash the. Actually, no, that's a lie. If I do this right, I crash the game sometimes. Wait, what? If this skip just can just can crash the game for no reason, even if you do it right. So I'm making, I'm definitely making a save here because this this skip has like coin flip odds of crashing the game even if you do it completely perfectly. So once again, we're going to go up to a ledge and stumble, and hold our aim key. Didn't quite get the timing. The timing for this one's later than you'd think. Did I crash the game? Did I crash the game? Did I crash the game? No, I didn't get it at all. <laughs> Come on. That looks good. That looks good. That'll be the one. Either that will work or I'll crash the game. One of the two. Didn't crash the game! There Woo! we go. Tech, he owes me ten bucks. <laughs> yes! That guy tweeted before the run, I'm going to bed, let me know if Punchy crashes his game. Didn't crash the game, punk. I mean, the, the run's not over yet. I, I, I don't think there's any more chances for the game to crash. That was it, that was the last one. Well, apparently breathing makes the game crash. Well, I mean, okay, but like... No, nah, it'll be fine. Don't make me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's the last, like, major crash opportunity for the run. There are, like, other things to do. It's not the end of the, the glitches, I assure you. But, uh, I that's love the last that skip. one with major potential to crash the game. I love that skip because, like, there... Uh, many... A couple years ago, not many years ago, uh, there was a skip for Borley. But it just... It's just to stop the in-game timer, so it was just called the Borley skip. But now you actually skip Borley. And it's yeah. so much better. Yeah, Borley oh, used yeah. to be like a massive auto-scroller, and now it's like completely excised from the run, so that's really cool. That's one of the good points of this category. You don't do Borley. That was actually the smaller version of the Borley skip. There's a longer version where you can skip directly into a late-game part of the area, but the risk of crashing the game on that is way higher. Uh, and also, it's not faster, funnily enough. Oh. I know, it seems like it would be. It's not. Everyone wants, like, I'll do the long and fancy version and then I'm confused when they lose four seconds and it's like, yeah, it's not faster. I'm telling you. I know it looks like it is. You skip directly into this room. It's really easy to get stuck in the wall here because the geometry is really funny. 
dogs. I would still pet those dogs. Every dog is a good dog. Now, as for horses, horses are less good animals, in my opinion. The reason for that is this area. We're gonna open the save menu real fast. That was unnecessary, excuse me. <laughs> Just cracked my knuckles. Uh, opening the save menu makes the start faster. We're gonna try and shoot all the horses as fast as possible. Four horses? They all have to die in order for this section to advance. So we're gonna use lots of rapid quick shots here. Lots of very rapid blocking. There's a specific rhythm to it that makes it tick. But for the last one, we're gonna hover over it and the horse is moving and then we're gonna mash alt and space a lot. That hurt my wrist. Uh, that lags the game on purpose, which advances the cycle to a more desirable position. That was really good, actually. That occurred almost instantly. Yeah, that uh, was really good. Really good. Huh. So the cycle of that fight is a weird one. We're saving the game again here because uh, that makes the next section advance quicker. So the cycle for that one is like every like eight seconds or so, the game asks, you done with those horses, mate? You done with those horses yet, mate? Good. Uh, and if your horses are done, it advances to the next bit of the game. But So if you miss that cycle, uh, it doesn't advance to the next bit of the game. But if you lag the game on purpose, you can bring the cycle closer to you. Also, we're now on Alessa. I'm going to shoot her with gun, and she will fall over and die. Uh, Alessa's spawning positions are random and often very inconvenient. That Alessa seriously blocked submachine gun with a pipe. What? I mean, like one of the bullets. Action girl. I will keep firing my gun. That was okay. That fight's really all based on the luck of where Alessa spawns. It's even like that on New Game, it just there's extra steps involved because you need to use a shotgun instead. And with that, we move into the final area of the church. So far, this is going quite well, actually. Yeah, you got $10. $10? <laughs> I haven't crashed the game. I was honestly expecting to crash the game at least once, if only because that would have been funnier. Uh, no, fortune smiles upon me. Many of my runs die on, like, PV pace to Bally skip because that, that skip actually genuinely has coin flip odds of crashing the game, even if you do it perfectly. Sometimes it just crashes. I don't know why. It plays a really gross noise when it crashes as well. It goes like... <laughs> Artist impression. Funnily enough, uh, Florida Lynx actually has a suggestion. Always love Silent Hill runs. Maybe feed it some Minmo to make it stop crashing? I heard it makes things strong and healthy. Doesn't uh doesn't also give like the laser eyes though? Apparently. Where's the game laser eyes? Uh, we quick save and quick load there because that skips waiting for the the crying child to walk behind the painting to make Heather realize there's a door there. If you just quick save and quick load, it immediately ends the segment. Gotta turn my flashlight off here. I just realize I'm doing this out of order. Okay, I guess I'm doing this out of order now. Whatever. Oh, hello. This is not the order you're supposed to do this in. My brain just sort of autopiloted. But I guess I'm doing it in this order now. It'll be fine. There are no problems here. That loading screen takes longer because of the sound effect. Didn't, don't you know that? that? That loading screen will not progress until the sound effect is complete. That's actually a general rule with, with loading screens in this game. If there's a sound effect playing, it doesn't progress them. Weird, right? Would, would muting it make it faster? No. Oh, if you replace no, the sound effect... Would... It would. It would probably crash the game. <laughs> uh, it probably would. Which one, the muting or the replacing? Replacing would probably crash the game. Uh, another quick save, quick load, skip there. That also wait, uh, skips a waiting for a crying child to walk behind a wall to make Heather realize that it's hollow. We pick up a card. The goal here is to collect all five cards and solve a puzzle at the end of the church. I've done the card collecting in a really bizarre order because my brain has autopiloted on some sort of weird route. I'm surprised I didn't get bodied for trying that. That was an unnecessarily risky line. But it worked. So that means it was a good idea. Rude. That guy's in the door. I need to be there. <laughs> I need to go there, man. No, it went okay somehow. Those, those like chainsaw guys standing on the ledges can be a real problem. There's another quirk of that, is that uh, if you're like wobbling off the edge of a ledge, Heather, please pick up the card. Thank you. If you're wobbling off the edge of a ledge and you get hit, you die. The attack pushes you off. Makes some sense. But uh, it means that trying to cut, like, tight lines around those guys can be really risky, because if you brush the edge and then they attack you, uh, you instantly die. I almost face-checked that guy going into the room. 
Okay, there's the card. And he gives us a book. There was a cutscene there I skipped where Vincent shows up and he gives you a book. The book is completely useless. No, I'm autopiloting again. Go back down. You don't down, need to go back down. Yeah. I know. I know. I did, I'm... Da. I, did <laughs> things in, I did things in the wrong order, so I'm confused. It's okay. Go back. Go back. I've got this. It's okay. There's, like, a different route being hammered out with different skips that aren't well understood at the moment, so my brain, like, autopiloted to the new route, and I was like, wait, that doesn't actually work well yet, so I can't do that. Oh, okay, be. so that was new routing. Kind yes, yes it was, but it's, like, not finalized routing. <laughs> right, okay. It's, it's very new. So maybe you'll get to see this game again in the near future. Maybe, mm, but no, Only pick up time the, up. Pick up the card, Heather. Yeah, in my face, again, go away. Okay, that's the last card we need to go fight the final boss. So as I trace it's time back there, to dethrone God. Yeah, as we trace back to go really? dethrone God, we got time for a couple donations. All right, I have a hundred dollar donation from Spooky Ghost Hot Tub. Good luck from all of your speed friends, Punchy. Stay comfy. I'm very the Ryo. Even without the daily boppers. Especially without them, they don't sit well on my head. The Ryo donates $25. Had to donate for my favorite speedrunners run, Punchy. Awesome to see you at GDQ since you don't have to fly to the States. Good luck. Yeah. I miss the in-person events, but also flying to America takes nine hours. There's, there's some perks of this is what I'm getting at. I'm going to equip the submachine gun. I was trying to decide what strat I'm doing here. And now I'm going to solve the final puzzle. Funny quirk of this game's IGT, it's paused for this final puzzle, so you can take all the time in the world to set it up. But I know the solution, that's no problem. Count set one, two, five. On six, turn to the right, perfect line. I count the steps there. This will take us to the final boss, so time uh, will be coming up shortly. So I need to use my pendant here and not read Shakespeare at Claudia, that does no one any favors. And now we're going to attack and dethrone God. God, get down here. Now I'm going to use my lightsaber. This is the power the of anime. Saber. Yeah! Power of anime on my side to dethrone God. Time. That's time. I beat the <laughs> video game. I killed them with anime. God crashed. God has been dethroned. Didn't crash the game! <laughs> Yay! Kick God in the head. Love that. you love to see it. All right. Okay, what was my final time? I can check it on the in-game IGT. But yeah, that was Silent Hill 3 Extra New Game. I got to show all of the new tech. Some of these, these skips range from, like, being so fresh they were discovered, like, a month ago uh, to a couple of months ago. Much of that route was totally new. Like, it's a very new route. And it's still being developed. There's fresh skips on the oven, like, right now. On the oven? In the oven. Do you put on the... Whatever. What was my time? What was my time? 29.24. I skipped instead of scrolling. Oops. Well, whatever. That's fine. 29.24 is a pretty good time. That was, was a good run. Yeah. That was pretty good. That was Silent Hill 3 Extra New Game. Uh, if you enjoyed that, I've been Punchy. I do speedruns at twitch.tv slash punchy. I'm doing the self-promotional bit. Uh, thank you very much, Maxi Dices, for being here with me. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much, GDQ. And I'd like to especially give a thank you to all of the technicians and producers who make the show run smoothly. I had to make a slight adjustment due to an emergency on my end. They were very nice and accommodating for me. Thank you so much. I really can't express enough how grateful I am. Thank you very much for having me. I love you guys. Peace. All right, that was an awesome run by Punchy. Let's get some hype in chat for him. And just a reminder, folks, if you've got Prime Gaming, all revenue earned by GDQ for the month of January from bits and subs get donated to charity. So now's a pretty good time to use your Prime Gaming sub if you haven't used it yet.
and we'll be back after a brief break. All right, chat, I hope you're all cozy and comfy. It's time to get up and take a little break because we're going to take the stream down for a brief moment. We'll be right back. Get your drinks in. Get your stretches in. Keep that tab open. And folks, thank you so much for your patience. We're back on Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 online powered by Twitch. That was me for the night. But coming up next, I'm going to pass you over to Samarasi. We'll be continuing the hard block. You're going to be in excellent hands. So have a great night and enjoy the rest of the marathon. Thank you so much, Zokuban, and hi everyone. My name is Samarasi, and I will be your host as we continue the horror block. I hope you're all having a fun and spooky time watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 online, powered by Twitch. I've got a $25 donation here from Domina Harper. This run has taught me three amazing things. That Heather is a magical girl, that the very existence of Silent Hill 3 makes it crash, and that Punchy is now in my list of favorite runners. Thank you for keeping my husband and I entertained stateside for such an amazing cause. Edwin Tiong donates $10. Fridge bread is not bread. It's undead bread. You're eating undead bread, Punchy. 
and I've got $25 from Lonely Party, well, I'll donate for the game not crashing at least.